Hey everyone, it's Joy here for Honeybee Stamps. Today I created a really beautiful kind of fall color floral card using the Beautiful Blooms Stamp and Die along with the coordinating stencil. Actually, it's the layering stencil. So here is that stamp set. You've got some great images. Of course, you've got great sentiments because Honeybee Stamps is just fantastic sentiments. And then here is the layering stencil that's gonna go with that. I'm also using the Ornate A2 cover plate top and base. So let's get our image stamped onto some white cardstock, but we're going to do some gold embossing. I just thought these flowers would look gorgeous that way. So I've prepped my cardstock with a powder tool. I am inking up my image with some clear embossing ink from Honeybee Stamps. I'm going to do that three times. I'm just checking my image because it's a larger image and I want to make sure that I'm going to get a really good embossed image. I'm using gold embossing powder because it's my favorite and I think it's just so so pretty and I think it kind of elevates your card when you use like a metallic um, embossing powder. So my heat gun is on getting nice and hot. I like to turn it on as soon as I'm starting to stamp something that I'm going to be embossing and then I can just take my heat tool to the paper and I love watching embossing powder melt and you know it's done when it is nice and shiny. So I'm gonna melt that and then we're gonna start using the layering stencils. Now there's four layering stencils and they're actually labeled like leaves one and two because there's two of those and then like berries and flowers and things like that. So it's really easy to do. So I am using some darker green ink. I'm using Simon Says Stamps Positively Saturated Inks and this is pine. And I really am really getting into these stencils that uh, are coordinate with stamps especially an image like this because that would be a lot of coloring so like if you were using copic markers or colored pencils or anything like that it was it's going to be a lot of coloring but this makes it so simple to have a really colorful image without it taking a thousand years to color so here's my second leaf stencil i did a lighter color i did field on that and i actually did forget a piece um, on one of the flowers but that's the beauty of it when it's done you just find that little part to the stencil and you ink blend it so now I want to have three different colors of flowers. We're going to do a yellow, a red, and a purple. And this flower right here is actually on two different stencils, uh, which really makes it easy to ink blend the one next to it. So I did yellow, now I'm doing red, and then we're going to bring in a little bit of purple once we switch the stencil. Well, not switch it. This one has both flowers. I meant move the stencil. So now we can do the top part of that yellow flower and then the purple flower. So you're just gonna line that up with your lines on your image and then just ink blend. And this makes it so, so easy. I just love this and I think it turned out so, so pretty. So there's the other part to that larger yellow flower. Then I can bring in the next stencil and it's gonna be the berries. And oh no, that was the little piece I forgot. This one is going to be the berry. So I'm going to line that up and I want to do these in a red. And so it's just, again, super simple to ink blend. And remember, we're ink blending on top of some embossing, which just really kind of changes your image. But look at how pretty that is. Okay, let's use that coordinating die to die cut it out. I'm going to just tape that down with some low tack tape and run that through my die cut machine. And then we can start on the background. Like I said, I'm using the Ornate A2 cover plate top and base. I'm gonna die cut both of those actually from white cardstock. So here's the top piece. I just think it's so, so pretty. Um, and then the bottom piece is just like little embossed and little lines. So you just lay it over like this and then you can adhere it down. I kept it white because the this, the image is just so, so colorful. We're also going to do a little trimming of that big piece that we stenciled. And I really do like how it turned out. It kind of scared me a little bit because we I had just done all that work. Not that it took a long time, but still. So I'll show you that in just a second. So I'm just adding a little bit of liquid glue on the edges and some dots in the centers. And then I'm just going to line this up, making sure the images in the background are lined up in the center, which for the most part they should be, should be unless you used like a smaller piece of cardstock or something. So now that that's done, I'm just going to trim off a little bit excess that I had on the sides. And then we can put this little uh, 
card together. We do need a sentiment and the sentiment that I'm going to be using is you are my forever friend and we're going to put that in the center of this. This is where we're going to cut this in half and as I was getting ready to cut it in half I paused for a second because I'm like don't mess it up Joy <laughs> and I did not measure it. I eyeballed it so you might be someone who needs to measure it but I'm going to split that in half and we're going to put the sentiment in the center of it. Now, something I thought about after this card was completed was to have maybe added like a gold mirror or a gold glitter cardstock in that strip to put the sentiment on top of. So here's the sentiment. This I'm just stamping in black ink because I do want that to pop off. I thought the gold embossing would probably get lost in this image right in the center. So, so I'm going to use that coordinating die to die cut that out. I love the Honeybee Stamps has coordinating sentiment dies. It is fantastic. But if you don't have something like that, then you can just trim it out with your paper trimmer. I'm going to add some foam tape behind that. And I'm going to just pop that in the center before I adhere down these floral images. So I'm just going to make sure that they're even on the top and the bottom for the card panel and then pop that right in the center. And then I can adhere these with just some liquid glue. And I totally forgot to grab Honey Bee Stamps liquid glue. They have great liquid glue. This was just right in front of me and I wasn't even thinking about it. But see, now you can see that space there between the top and bottom florals. So that's why I'm saying that could be fun with a pretty colored piece of cardstock behind it. And I just didn't even think about it. I was just thinking the pretty white behind it. So, but you could do that if you didn't like the white. Then I will add some, oh, I forgot to write these down. I will have these listed and linked below. These are some, oh no, these are the Spooktacular Gem Stickers. Excuse me, and I'm using some gold ones. And I'm gonna put those, about five of those on the background, like on top of the flowers. And I'm not gonna trim the edges off of the flowers. If that bothers you, you could definitely trim that off. But here we go, look at that beautiful gold embossing. That stenciling is so easy. That beautiful ornate background is gorgeous. I hope you guys like this project and I hope that you feel inspired. Thank you so very much for stopping by and watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.